So Helicobacter pylori infects about 50% of people in the world. It's a gastric pathogen that infects the stomach. It's a bacteria. In 1984, the first report of this was in The Lancet, described by Marshall and Warren. They won the Nobel Prize for this in 2005 for the discovery that H. pylori causes inflammation and peptic ulcer disease. But it also turns out that Helicobacter pylori, or H. pylori, is the most important uh, factor in the development of gastric adenocarcinoma. So gastric cancer is the third leading cause of cancer death worldwide, and um, it's over 700,000 deaths per year. And uh, Helicobacter pylori, uh, you would think it would be very straightforward. If we know that there's a pathogen that leads to this, why can't we just get rid of it in everyone? So there's a lot of problems with that approach. First of all, there may be some actual benefits of this pathogen because it started out probably as a commensal organism. There's evidence that it goes back hundreds of thousands of years and there's ideas that it co-evolved with humans and that it's only when a lot of work that our group has done, not really my lab, but people that I work with, has shown that when there's a disconnect between the human genetics and the bacterial genetics, this mismatch may be one of the factors that leads to cancer, which we're studying. So there may be many people that they don't really need to be eradicated. And in fact, there's evidence that overzealous eradication may have a role in leading to autoimmune disorders and things like asthma. So we want to understand the whole process of the inflammation and how that leads to cancer.